I don't know if you can see that, but woo! 6.14 in the morning, we're on the road, heading south on I-25. We're going to go do a little fishing this morning. Zoom back out here. There we go. Uh, we are going to divert to Colorado City, head up to Lake Isabel. It's very hazy out here. There are some forest fires up north that must be blowing south because I can't even see the mountains, even though sunrise isn't quite here yet. It's very hazy. But we're going to go do a little fishing today. So do me a favor. I need some affirmation. Subscribe to the channel. And give me a thumbs up. Just let me know that you love me. Let's go do some fishing. Let's go have some fun this morning. Hope to be back home by lunchtime. Okay, guys, we are coming up to Colorado City. And we'll be taking this exit. I know you're asking, why did I go this direction? Why did I go west out of Pueblo? When you go Colorado City down I-25, get off, get on whatever road this is. This is 165. Uh, towards Rye and Isabel. It actually takes about 15 minutes less. So that's why I'm coming this way. Uh, it's crazy out here. The haze, the smoke in the air. Never seen it like this before. You can just barely see outline of the foothills up there. Uh, so the fires up north really, really Making it smoky down here. Must be the smoke must be headed dead south, right towards Pueblo, right towards the mountains. Probably hugging up against the mountains. It'll be interesting to see how the views are on Isabel. Isabel is amazing because of the views. But we're gonna have a fun morning today. Gonna do a little fishing and uh, relaxing. I'm going up first thing in the morning because it does get busy up here on the weekends. Uh, because it is a beautiful place. It is up in the mountains, so it is cooler. Uh, so join along. Hey guys, one of the nice things about coming on out here is you usually always see deer. They'll usually get out of the way for you. But look at that guy there. Number of bucks right here. I've seen about a dozen deer so far. I'll let you guys go. We'll see you later. I'm inside the park here. It's actually nice and quiet. Right back here, I saw a couple of deer. Let's see if we can walk over there, take a look at them. Yeah, they're right over here. grass sticking out of her mouth. It's a mother and two does. They're going to come out right up here. Mama crossing the road and the doe should be coming out at any second now. That oh that's a little buck, little spike. Oh, I hear another one. A little two point. Come right out to Two point. 
Hey, I'm gonna walk on down here. I oftentimes will fish right off the dam over to the right. They've got a couple little parking lots over there. But I'm just gonna fish off of shore over here. You can see how beautiful it is out here. Looks like there's quite a few people fishing right off the uh, dam. Look at that. Look how pretty it is out here. Plenty of places to fish up here though. Okay, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna set up right here. That beautiful sunrise. Just gorgeous out here. Okay, we're gonna get set up out here, do a little fishing. Now my favorite way to fish out here is Isabel. And probably what I have the most luck luck with is not with bait or lures. It is with a little slip bobber, that's what I have here, and then a little dry fly. I've got a little Goddard cat that is black. It's got a little fuzzy sticking to it. And all I'll do is once I tighten up my drag here, and I'm just using a regular spinning rod, not using a fly rod. So I'll just toss it out here, and then I'll let it sit, or I'll retrieve it super slow, and just watch behind that bobber out there and that's where your fly is going to be fish will come up and take it just watch for that that's probably my number one way to catch fish out here majority of the people are going to come out here and throw bait out here worms power bait eggs whatever and fewer people will use these dry flies. Oops, there's one. Nope, missed them. But this by far... Ooh, here goes another one. Missed him. This by far outfishes bait for me out here. And I can see our fly has sunk. It's no longer floating. So we're going to bring it in nice and easy. And we are going to put some more floating on it to keep it floating. They sell this stuff. Uh, it's just a little waxy substance you can put on your fly. Go to the fly shop, ask for some floating, and they will set you up. And you just dry it off just a little by waving it back and forth. Put a little more on here. That's how easy it is. Squeeze a little on. Just gonna work it into the fly. What happens is the fly gets waterlogged when the fish grab it. Pull it under. That'll keep it back floating. We'll toss it back out here again. So we got two hits on that one cast already. So not too bad. Yeah, it's a little breezier than normal out here. But that's okay, we're gonna catch some fish. So I'm watching right beyond my bobber out there. I can see my bobber clearly. The fly I can't really see. Every once in a while I can get a glimpse of it black so it's hard to see but I'll let it sit let it sit a minute 30 seconds whatever no but just an inch or two let it sit again yep and there's a fish and we lost him See how easy that is? See, I got to tighten up my drag a little, that's a little loose. Well, 
what I've found here at Isabel is there'll be a weed bed that runs pretty much all the way around, even up by the dam. And the fish like to hang out just on the other side of the weed bed. So you don't necessarily need to cast a mile out there. That isn't required. Of course, there'll be fish all over, but just on the other side of the weed bed is where I have the best luck out here. Fish area in here is trout. They stock it with rainbow trout. They've got uh, some brown trout in here too, as well as a few brookies. Uh, they also have perch in here, which I doubt if they stocked it. Probably somebody brought some in and threw them in. They reproduce in here. Because we are up in the mountains, they have a tendency to be pretty small. Uh, they also have some chubs in here, but uh, it's mainly a trout fishery. Majority of what you're going to catch are rainbows. Again, this is what I'm using right here. It's a size 16 Elkhorn Caddis. Get a little floating on here. Since we just caught a fish, it's going to be very waterlogged now. Just work a little floating into it and up the line. That easy. Toss it back out here. Today I've fished out here, I've used a worm, I've fished a uh, pistol peat and a woolly bugger behind a float, uh, but always my number one producer out here is a small elkhorn caddis, you know, represents caddis flies, also works for the uh, horse flies that are often out here. They float high because they're made of elk hair. Elk hair is hollow. And we just missed another one. Oops. Got ourselves a tree for a second. Try it again. Anyway, the uh, elk hair is hollow. The elk and deer hair is hollow, unlike other hair. Uh, so it floats better. represents some of the bugs that the fish eat out here. That's, I would say 90% of the time that is my number one fish catcher out here at Lake Isabel. Catch more fish on that than anything else. And just right on a spinning reel. And we got another one. There we go. We got them. Let's see what we got this time. It doesn't feel quite as big. Well, let's see what we got. Got a rainbow. We got a rainbow this time around. That was just right on the outside of the weed bed. Right on our caddis fly.
what we've been waiting for. Came right up. Looks like a nice rainbow. No, it's a brown. That's a nice, nice little brown trout, if you can see there. Barbless hooks come out really well. And we're just going to let them go here. Way you gone. Woo, what a great time at the lake. Lake Isabel is just fantastic for fishing and the scenery as well. Overall, I did manage to catch about a half dozen trout, caught the one brown trout, and the rest were rainbows. I did fish with worms. I did fish with a couple of other things, as well as the flies. All the fish were caught on those elk horn caddises. And the reason is that's a natural food supply for the fish here in the lake. In addition, other people don't really use that very often, so it really works well. Uh, I hope you come up to the lake, give it a shot. Don't be afraid to try an elkhorn caddis, a dry fly in the lake, and I hope you catch as many as we do. Now please, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, let us know you're liking our videos. It really helps us out, just lets me know that what we're doing is something that you like. Anyway, I hope you have a great day and thanks for watching our videos.